Open your book to page 75. This is lesson 2.15. This lesson is on complex fraction. Before we get to that, let's look at the example for simple fraction. So example one, you have two over three, you have the 18 over five, you have the two over seven minus three, and you have the 13 plus six over nine minus two. So th this one has only one fraction line. So this is, all these are called simple fraction. Now in example two, when you have more than one fraction line, it, it's an uh, example of complex fraction. So you got two over five. Now you have to watch this little, this is the main fraction line. Okay? So again, you have fraction over a number, or you get this kind of situation, or you can have four over seven over five over nine, Okay, or you have 3 over 2 minus 2 over 5 over 5 over 6 plus 3 over 4. So when you have this kind of situation, these are, these are called complex fractions. Okay, so complex fraction is when you have more than one of this fraction line. Okay, so let's go over how to do this. So let's go to example 3. Okay. You have 5 over 12 over 8 over 15. Now you have to pay attention to see which one is your main line. So this, this is the main line over here. So this means division. So this means equal to 5 over 12 divided by, right, this, this means divide, divided by 8 over 15. So that's, how, that's, that's what it means, okay? So now you already learned how to do this before, right? So just go and convert into multiplication, flip it upside down. And then after that, you can go ahead and cancel things out. So 12 and 15, both are divisible by three. So divide by three, you get four. Divide by three, you get five. So this will equal to 25 over 32. But if you notice right over here, that's a shortcut, okay? Um, uh, instead of, you can, it can save you one step. The way to do it is that you, you can make this, notice this is the outer over inner. So in other words, the number on the outside goes on the top. See that, the five and 15. So five and 15, the number on the outside goes on the top. The number on the inside goes on the bottom. So you got 12, so you got 12 and eight. So, so if you remember this, you can just go, it, it, it will save you one step. But if you don't, it's okay. You can just go and change this into division and then go ahead and, and just flip it over up to that. Okay, let's go to example 3B. So 3B, you have uh, 6 divided by 3 over 5. So this is equal to uh, 6 divided by 3 over 5. So this is equal to 6 over 1 times by 5 over 3. And so you can cancel these things out. And so answer is equal to 10. So another way to do this is you make everything into fractions. So you got 6 over 1 divided by 3 over 5. Okay. So remember, 6 is 6 over 1, right? So you have to make everything into fraction. And then you can do the outer over inner. Okay, remember the, the, the outer over inner, right? So that way, so outer, so you're going to get 5 times 6 over inner, you got 1 times 3. Okay? So you can go straight from here to here, and this cancels out, and the answer equal to 10. So either way, you get the same answer. So you can do it either way, whichever you prefer. So example 3C, you got 4 over 5 divided by 12. Okay, so again, if you convert, you get 4 over 5 divided by 12. And I'm going to make this into 12 over 1, so it's easier to flip it over. So this is equal to 4 over 5 times by 1 over 12. And so 12, 4 and 12 both are divisible by 4. So divide by 4, you get 1. Divide by 4, you get 3. So answer will be equal to 1 over 15. Now again, you can do the same thing, okay? 
by 2 indeed. So you've got 4 over 5 over 12 over 1. You can use the outer over inner. So outer, so you got 4 and 1. Over inner, so you got 5 and 12. Right? So you can use outer over inner. And then this can, you can cancel. So it ends will be 1 over 15. So it's the same thing. Okay? So, but this will save you this step over here. When you do this, you save you one step. Okay, let's go to example 3D. Example 3D, you are 2 and 3 fifth divided by 1 and 5 eighth. So you have mixed numbers, so mixed number you need to go and convert into improper fraction. So this will give you 13 over 5, and this will give you 13 over 8. Okay. And so in this case, again, I'm going to try to use the outer over inner technique. So outer, you got 13 and 8. Right? The outside goes on the top, the inside goes on the bottom. So outer over inner, again, so... So outer over inner. So now notice 13 and 13 can cancel out. So the answer would be just 8 over 5. Okay, let's go to example E. You got 1 over 6 plus 2 over 3 over 5 over 8 minus 1 over 4. Now notice this is a different type from this. Notice on this one there's no addition or subtraction. This one has. So this one it's easy if you learn a different technique. So for this one, what you want to do is find your LCD. Okay? So you got 6, 3, 8, 4, right? So you got 6, 3, 8, 4. So you're looking for LCD. So first divide by 2. Remember, for LCD, as long as two of the number can divide, you can go and, and divide, right? So divide by 2, you get 3. This one you cannot divide, you leave it alone. So 8 divided by 2 you get 4, 4 divided by 2, you get 2, right? So you can divide by 2 again, because these two can divide. So leave this alone, so it'd be 2, 1, right? So now you can divide, so now you cannot do 2 anymore, so you go to 3. So divide by 3, you get 1, 1, 2, 1. So your LCD is going to be all this multiplied together, you get 24, okay? You can do this. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 6, so use your finger, right? So 4 times 6, right? So this is 6, this is 4, 4 times 6 gives you 24. And what you're going to do with the LCD is that you're going to multiply each term by, by the LCD. So multiply, and you, you, and you want to put in parentheses. So put, multiply by 24, multiply by 24. So every term, you need to multiply. And after that, you're going to start to cancel things out. So the purpose of multiplying is to get rid of the complex fraction. So this cancel out, you get 4, and every time, when you cancel, you're going to write it down right away, so you, you don't lose track. So, okay, so you can cancel, you write it down. Go to the next one. This cancel, 2 times 8 is 16, write it down. Okay, so again, this is very quick and it's easy than the other method. So this cancel, you get 3, so 3 times 5 is 15, minus 4 and 24, you divide by 4, you get 6, so minus 6. Okay, again, the purpose of doing the multiplying LCD is to convert that into a simple fraction. Then after that, you go and uh, perform the operation. So 4 plus 16 is 20. 15 minus 6 is 9. And check see if you can simplify. Cannot. And so that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go to page 76 and example 4. Is it show that 2 over 3 over 4, right? Look, look, this is the main line, right? You have to watch which line is darker. Show that this is not equal to 2 over 3 divided by 4, okay? So you have to watch where the major line is, okay? So what you do is you can simplify each of these, right? So this part is equal to 
2 divided by 3 over 4 and so it becomes 2 over 1 times 4 over 3 okay and so this becomes 8 over 3 so this side is 8 over 3 this side is 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 1 okay 4 means 4 over 1 and so this becomes 2 over 3 times 1 over 4 and then you then you can cancel things out divide by 2 divide by 2 so you get 1 over 6 okay so you can see that 8 over 2 so this one is equal to 8 over 3 this one is equal to 1 over 6 so they are not equal right so once you prove that you put a check mark means yes so you, you verify so this is mean this is how you this, this means you verified so again you show that this is not equal and so check